The prayer this morning will be offered by the guest chaplain, Rabbi Seth Frisch from New Shoal of America in Rydal, Pennsylvania. Almighty, I stand before you in prayer and in memory as I am reminded of Solomon, king of ancient Israel, who would preside over a most unusual judicial hearing, one in which two mothers would lay claim to the life of one child, a child they each would insist to be their own. This passage allows us to see Solomon's wisdom as preserving the nation, as we are sadly reminded so soon after his death that the kingdom is split asunder. I too am reminded of Abraham Lincoln when he spoke with prophetic-like prescience, a house divided cannot stand, which was soon to become a war of brother against brother. From this, we would soon learn that our future lies not in enmity, but in unity. For Lord, the book of Leviticus from your Torah teaches us in words inscribed upon the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, proclaim liberty throughout the land to all the inhabitants thereof, thus uniting one of our nation's highest ideals, e pluribus unum, out of the many, one. Lord God, the founders of this nation understood our strength to be in the celebration of our differences while assiduously working to put our divisions behind us. And so it is, dear God, that we pray you remain with us. Continue to guide all of us in realizing the dream of this great country, to be a nation indivisible, a nation seeking liberty, and above all, a nation providing liberty and justice to all. Amen. Amen. 